<laughs> Why I went alone? I yo, know, you've got two uh, gnomes with you and some uh, sorted parties that we rescued. Uh, humanoid people. Yeah, I think he has like two humans and a and like a handful of turtles and a cat, a cat criminal and a drug dealer. All right. Hold on, I wrote down the, yeah. the total. All right. I'm supposed to well, save you guys? No, you're not. No. <laughs> no, we're we're trying to get rid of some loot, sell some loot. Then we're going to meet you back at a certain point, at a certain time, to get picked up. Is the idea. But you're on what's called a turtle ship. Warship. Turtles are turtles. Warship. Warship, yeah. That's that we cool. kind of In worship stole. Too? Oh. We, we stole the damn ship, the bottom line is. That is the bottom line. Worship? Who's worship. worshiping who? Apparently you worship rams, ramrods or something. Oh, There's ramrod. another term for that. Our ramrod. Ramrod. Okay, folks, as uh, my wife gets ready to go ahead and kill me for doing this, <laughs> uh, deservedly so, let's go ahead and get cracking. Uh, Haggis, I heard them bringing you back up to speed. Congratulations. You are on the turtle warship, and you have no idea what's coming at you. Uh, the others, folks, if you didn't see the last episode, uh, they set fire to half the adventurer's quarter, may or may not have killed a uh, client, so to speak, and are, are trying to enter what they have deemed a fun house to recover a wooden box with, uh, what does it have? A uh, rosewood box with coral... Uh, inlay for a smuggler in Fatar, the turtle homeland. Uh, that being said, uh, gentlemen, as the fires rage outside, I believe Leaf, uh, the last Saint Druid of the party, has gone ahead and cast Lesser Restoration on all three of the affected toxin recipients. Is that the case? Yes. Yep. However, you are still down hit points. Who wants to try and use the key to go into what you have deemed the fun house, a.k.a. the um, warehouse? Can I, let me I interrupt you for a minute. Sure. I've got a really small screen up, and then behind it, I've got this huge screen with all this crap on. It looks like your, your producer's screen. Yep. Your audio mixer is, is that, up on Is me. that something that I'm supposed to have up, or should I do something to change that? You know what? No, that that's uh, what I did. Oh, okay. That's what you meant when you said she's going to kill you when she gets back? Oh, yeah. She's going to beat the crap out of me. Okay. I'm all right. With, I'm, I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That, no, that this one's on me. So uh, okay, when she so, comes in and you see the hand starting to throttle me, Okay, uh, that's on me. All right. Uh, so I can live with the little okay. screen. Yeah, it's it's kind of messy, but we'll see how this goes. Uh, well, you know, I, I'll open the door. I don't care. Well, uh, I was going to suggest we we are worried that this entire building may be nothing but a, a fun house, an evil fun house full of traps. We'll be Why don't we let the party go we'll be back. We'll be back. do it and look to see if, if, and if disarm any traps that may be associated with just even the front door. Okay, I'm all right with that too. Yeah, that sounds like something that's in my wheelhouse. Okay. Uh, so, Leaf, you are going to use the key provided to you by uh, your benefactor, I assume, Coronado Diego, the lovely and attractive. Uh, I'll have uh, Felix take a look at the door first before we turn the key in the lock. Good news, Felix. Uh, there is absolutely nothing unusual about this whatsoever. Was that a roll? <laughs> I'll turn the key. Uh, door opens up to a dark room. I can see in the dark. Can I see anything? Uh, from the flickering of the burning buildings behind you, you can see that this building is an antechamber, uh, somewhat plush surroundings. And I will repeat that. Hey, guys, looks pretty plush to me. Do I see any rocks or pebbles laying around? Yes. I'm going to grab a handful, put them in the pocket. Wow. Sure. That'll work. Why? Uh, if I find dark rooms, I just grab a pebble, cast light, and throw it in. Who wants to go in first? I, I think the, we'll let Felix. Felix, right. the party's uh, rogue, take point. Fair enough. Uh, Felix, give me a d20, please. 
He looks so lucky. <laughs> we hope so. <laughs> eight. eight. Uh, you trip over the stoop uh, and stagger into the room, uh, and it illuminates in flesh light as brass candle holders on all four walls ignite simultaneously. Uh, the room is bathed in artificial light, and you notice uh, several uh, small plush chairs here, a sitting couch, a settee. Uh, you also notice two doors. The two pills. All right. Blue and a red. Let's Are the doors the identical? Or can I see any difference between them? One is directly in front of you, and one is on the wall to your right. You know, right is always right. Okay. I guess I will. Uh, you said I tripped, so I'll pick myself back up and kind of stand up, look around for any trip wires or anything like that. Do I see anything else? I will take investigation check. Is everybody else following him in? Yeah. I'll, I'll step in behind him because. I'm crazy. 15. Well, and, there, and there's a fire behind you. 15 oh. reveals no traps. Uh, okay. As the last okay. individual enters the door uh, or enters the room, the door shuts and disappears. It's not a great. Damn it. <laughs> uh, but this room is quite peaceful. It's very serene. Uh, you actually think you can hear some kind of soft music, maybe Perry Como or something of that. Uh, yeah cool until a voice a deep voice says answer my riddle or pay the price i'm gonna whisper okay, so to my party wait, what's the price <laughs> price i'm willing to pay everybody uh, give me a perception check okay that'd be a 20 27 19 18. Oh, perception. Yeah, that sucks. Oh. Second there, I thought I fumbled, but no, I didn't. Oh, 15. I rolled a massive uh, nine. Mm -hmm. Everybody but Robert of Zeppelin notices an illuminated um, um, egg timer that <laughs> rises in the center of the room, and the sand on top is quickly dwindling out. What if we break it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You said something about a question. Question? State your riddle. What gets wetter and wetter the more it dries? <laughs> I, oh, think, I think I it's know for that. Felix. <laughs> I know exactly what likes to get really, really wet when it dries. A towel. The egg timer disappears. <laughs> I was so afraid he was going to make a comment about that barmaid. Griselda. <laughs> the answer is well, Griselda. Out, well, I thought it was well, accurate. That is not the answer. I was. <laughs> uh, I knew so, that's where you were going, Leaf. Oh. So now you find yourself in the same room with two doors to choose from. Both are identical. <clears throat> well, which way do we want to go? Why don't we open both of them without going in and see what's behind the doors? Count of three. We'll open them both. Yep. Okay. I will go open the one that's directly in front of us. And I'll throw open the other one immediately. Fair enough. I'll stand uh, against the wall that's not between the two. Uh, <laughs> sure, that works because it's like that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you both fling open the doors and nothing but a dark veil can be seen. I'm going to cast light on a stone and throw it in the mm -hmm. door that was a straight across. Excellent idea. Uh, the illuminated stone goes into the darkness and That's what disappears. I it's a giant hole. No, it's a spell you can't see in. You have to step in. You can't just hmm. can you stick your head in. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, Noodles wants to stick his head in the black veil. Come on, man. I, gotta, I just got to do it. Gotta the do one it. that Felix opened or the one that Leaf opened? The one that Felix opened. The one that The Rock went in. Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> you see the brave and diplomatic man Fang uh, lean in, uh, but before you do, an orb appears in the center of the room. Give me a reaction check there, man Fang, with a DC 20 in your decks. What on your decks? Wait a minute, 14. 14. Yeah. Uh, you see the glint out of the corner of your eye and you stop. All of you observe this illuminated orb and it appears to be 
a portal to an ocean area. Uh, yeah. You suddenly start to see a very familiar ship come into view, and young Haggis Crapstain is inaudibly giving orders to people. Uh, that'd be Captain Crapstain. Captain Crapstain, uh, give me a perception check, please. <laughs> Oh, God. Three. <laughs> As you give orders, you do not realize there is an orb closing in behind you. Everybody else sees the orb zeroing in on him, just as Pierre points. Uh, Haggis, you turn, and the orb envelops you. Give me a D20. Hate him. I guess he's not there. 17. Uh, 17, you land with cat-like quickness on your feet, and you are in a strange room surrounded by plush furniture <laughs> and your associates. DMs <laughs> <laughs> at home, sometimes you gotta cheat. <laughs> I love it. Haggis, you are with your associates, whom you haven't seen in several days. What's uh, plush? Uh, nice, velvety, oh, okay. uh, thick cushions, classy. You know, well, could like we like furniture it's that shop? Plush girl anime doll you have on your bed. <laughs> <laughs> well, like it's that body pillow, <laughs> the body plush pillow you got on your bed. What it's called? <laughs> With Rosie call that bed, ample, right? not plush. <laughs> as long as the valve doesn't break, you're hard. fine. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, Haggis, what would you like to do? Do I see anyone You've... else besides my associates? Like anyone out of the order? You do not. Okay, then I want to start nope. like, you know, well, a lot of rich, <laughs> a lot of rich people like to hide their stuff, like the good stuff. Right. So I take a knife and start sort of opening the <laughs> the velvet furniture Good and all idea, that. Man. Great a idea. maniacal Haggis crab stain appears out of nowhere, pulls <laughs> out a blade and starts carving up the very expensive furniture. Uh, you think it's Haggis crab stain. You aren't really... I'm going to scream, Doppelganger! <laughs> Kill him! Grab him! Man, don't, you, don't you mean kind of moan that because you're down 20 hit points? <laughs> <laughs> uh, who wants to tackle Haggis crab stain? Go ahead. Give me a strength roll, Haggis. Give me a strength or strength or dexterity uh, modifier on your roll. Uh, sixteen. <laughs> and what's your strength well, modifier? Yeah, he rolled shitty. Okay, yeah, nineteen. I, didn't roll crap. I took dexterity. Uh, Haggis uh, deftly steps aside and wields his dagger menacingly. It would appear as though he does not. He can't be certain that you guys are who you think you are, especially when he heard the word doppelganger escape from somewhere. <laughs> uh, Haggis, what would you like to do? This potential doppelganger just attempted. I'm going to gonna cast you. old person on him. Uh, give me a wisdom save, Haggis. 16. Gee, you're. He's free. <laughs> <laughs> and yet there goes another spell slot. <laughs> uh, I guess uh, you see the druid of the party wave his hands in mystical formation and utter arcane words. You are surrounded by a blue glow, but it quickly is whisked away by your powerful abilities. Wisdom. Haggis Crapstain's wisdom. I know yeah. who to thunk. So at this point, this guy's like slick as shit, right? I mean, he's just. Yes, he is. I, I don't think it's him. It, he seems awfully nimble for crap stain. Dog pile. Yeah. Dog pile. You Dog already. Pile. I missed. I won't do it again. I have to uh, everybody <laughs> except Haggis and Manfang and Leaf can attempt to leap, aka D20 plus Dex, and try and tackle down. <laughs> Why? Because this is what we do. Nat no, he's do fisticuffs. He's going to take a step back. Natural 20. Do I add anything? Uh, right, no, you, you already went. Here. Exactly. You said I could tackle him again. No, I, I rolled a 20. Yeah, you, you, you tackle him. 
Yeah, I like... rolled an 18 because of my modifier. No, it's, it was a dex modifier. Oh. You rolled a 14. Then, yeah, I rolled again. 14. Ah. Uh, so Robert tackles him to the ground. Felix and Copius, you can uh, dogpile on and take down this dastardly dog. That's not a spear in my pocket. <laughs> Are you, are you doing that yeah. too, Copious? <laughs> <laughs> Co- Copious doesn't do dog piles. <laughs> are you are you sure? Because it's Felix. And, Felix uh, started taking his clothes off already, so I'm definitely not climbing into that dog pile. <laughs> I don't know. I heard Robert singing a song, and according to that song, you do. Come on, boys. Get your little peckers out. <laughs> So, uh, August is pinned underneath the pile. Who wants to, uh, you know what? Everybody, D20. Let's give me some initiative rolls here. <laughs> uh, 20, oh, 30, 14, Five. 8, 15, 15. 2, and Dude, 5. Good. Uh, Nat 20, go, or unnatural 20 goes first. Uh, you've got him pinned down. You've pointed out that that's not a spear in your pocket. Uh, what would you like to do now that you are pinning him literally? <laughs> is, is there anybody else behind me? Oh, yeah. Uh, Felix is on top of you. Felix, put your sword away. <laughs> <laughs> what sword? Damn it. <laughs> and... As he holds his hands up in the air. (laughs) Ow! The doctor will be in in just a moment. (laughs) Wait a minute. So, Robert, you get first crack. Do you want to try and get him calmed down, or do you want to kill this doppelganger? Kill the doppelganger. God, it'd be funny. (laughs) (laughs) Let's just do it. Let's do it. No, I wouldn't do that. I want to know what he's done with the real copious, or not copious, but haggis. Yeah. You just want to kill copious. We're going to choke him out. <laughs> you can give, grab him by the collar and just yell, "Who sent you?" Give me oh, a God constitution save, August. <laughs> uh, Eighteen. Complete my pressure. The, the sleeper hold is ineffective as he gets her wrist up in there. Fifteens. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I had a pair of them. Uh, Copius and Felix, I believe. Uh, it just uh, is a as a observation piece because haggis is a is a rogue does he get to have any damage if he gets uncanny dodge moving forward uh, he's pinned to the ground I, yeah for the pinning i know but oh oh yes uh, no he'll escape he'll he'll be able to evade it okay if successful uh i i want to i'm shouting out at robert uh, uh, and felix i said wait 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 let's ask him something that only <laughs> haggis would know what would you like to ask him? What's the airspeed of a swallow? No, I'm just oh. kidding. Uh, <laughs> European? African? <laughs> I don't know. Um, what's up? I'm looking around at the rest of the party. What's something only Haggis would know? Haggis forgets stuff. He's a little bit of a. He's not the brightest one in the. Wait, wait, wait! I know. Hey, you're in a party with Man Fang. <laughs> 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 Haggis, here's the question. What did you do when we when we went to those mountain villages to find out what collapsed the villages? What did you do to the little girl? <laughs> oh right. Yeah. Folks, this is for mature audiences, by the way. <laughs> Before he answers, I'll throw that one out there. Yeah, I turned her into a fart, uh, guess. Yeah, cool, man. <laughs> That's that's true. He made her drink a potion. <laughs> of course, it would, it, it would appear that Haggis is the real Haggis. Haggis, you can definitely surmise. Well, go ahead and roll a d twenty. Let's see how stupid you are today. I wonder if you inhale her, you would. Inhale I'm a, that's two. You don't know how this doppelganger knows to ask you that question. <laughs> Well, it wasn't a one, so uh, you start formulating the pieces on who would know that and why would they ask that? Uh, is this Chris Hansen? Uh, are you going to lose your laptop? <laughs> I <laughs> start to put the pieces together, uh, and that leads us to wow, you guys have shit rolls. Eight is my next <laughs> one. Let me ask you a question. Uh, Haggis, 
What did Felix do to the barmaid in the outhouse? What did he do to my horn? I don't even know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I can't. That's good. I don't want to be held responsible for what I did to the barmaid in the outhouse. I didn't know if they knew or not. I just wanted to bring it up. Nice. She was a nice lady. All right. Well, you well, can't. Copious is, I believe that is Haggis. I think it, I think it's Haggis too, but it begs the question: How did he get here? Because, and more importantly, where's my treasure ship? He's a witch. He's a witch. The witch. Excuse, me. Excuse me. Excuse me. I believe that's our treasure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ship. Our. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm an hour. Right. <laughs> I guess. Well, you guys let like, him up. I'm going to give it a second for my wrestling rager to Amen. subside, and then I'll stand up. <laughs> <laughs> what? And, and somehow, uh, <laughs> Felix is wearing a singlet. <laughs> you aren't even really sure how that happened. No, you're sure where it came from. Apparently, he wears it under his leather armor. Is <laughs> that uh, a solid uh, piece, or are you just glad to see it? <laughs> I guess you, you start to figure out these are your associates because no one would treat you this way who didn't know you. <laughs> uh, Felix, your wrestling rager has subsided, albeit slowly. <laughs> and uh, Robert, it's up to you. Do you want to get up off Haggis? Do one more, just kind of a jump flop on him. I don't know. He squirms. You don't move like no virgin. If If you do the low crawl, I believe there's uh, some I'll kind of fall off the top of his head. <laughs> leave my track. You just steamroller over him. Robert, roll to see if you realize that Felix was dripping something on you. <laughs> oh. oh, have no clue. <laughs> At this time, it is only sweat. <laughs> there be a uh, I guess. That's communicable. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You know, That's it. Yeah, you yeah. know. It is the boy's got a virus of some kind. <laughs> uh, Haggis, you can uh, you finally surmise that these are your associates. You have no idea how you got here uh, or where you are at. These are the droids you're looking for. <laughs> yeah. So uh, you guys are still stuck in a less than plush room now that uh, Captain Stabby Pants there <laughs> did a number on the settee. Uh, Which we didn't do great. anything. That was Haggis. Oh, yeah. oh right. <laughs> <laughs> and there are still two doors. Uh, fortunately, or unfortunately, as the case may be, because it would have been funny if Man Fang would have disappeared. Man Fang did not stick his head in the door yet. <laughs> <laughs> So you know, I'm just gonna stick like the tip of my pinky in because you don't really need to just gonna stick the tip in. Just the tip. <laughs> just the tip. Uh just the tip goes in. Sadly, <laughs> man, that always counts, and you are sucked away. Yeah. Ooh, what a game. I know. This game took a really nasty turn. <laughs> I know. As, as the group soon as you welcomed us on the crew. Yep. <laughs> so uh Manfang has disappeared from the group. Cool. I think we better follow him, guys. We don't want him in there by himself. Yep. After you. In I'll, go, I'll go next. I'll go next. I mean, Let me help you. <laughs> I'll grab Felix as I go through. <laughs> I'll follow you right behind Leaf. Uh, Part of you. I got a hold of it. Copious, Robert, and Huggis, are you also going through, or do you want to really screw with your lives and go in the other door? I'm sitting there. We could try the other door. Right they there. just all disappeared, right? Yep. Like no, no, nothing. They did. Were they sucked into the room, or did they just vanish? Uh, Ooh, when he stuck his pinky in, you can just see stuck. the elongation of every 1980s space movie. Just it. He went all Doctor Who on you. Oh, I'm thinking. Uh, oh crap! I forgot the name. He may have just been yeah, collapsed into a black hole for all we know. Tron. Yeah, he could be dead. Could be and the it, sex change. Also, from tomb of could be in a treasure room, dousing himself down with diamonds. That's Wait, true. I got hey, to roll into so so Treasure, you said. <laughs> I'm I'm looking at Haggis and at Robert, going, "Do we do we follow them? They, we don't know if they're alive or dead." Oh, I tell you what, we'll tie a rope around Haggis. We'll let him walk in. 
As long as he doesn't go to the light, he should be okay. This room is cleansed. <laughs> yeah, right. Haggis, hold on to this rope. Go through that door. I mean, it's, 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 like it's, it's going to be right? It's not pulling back. It's going to be its torso. Yeah. Wait, can I sneak into the door? So that yeah, way, the, you the, can. The, yeah. Yes, you, you can cap Calloway yourself in. <laughs> I tie this rope around you. He's going to put like, the cloak of invisibility on and just jump through and hope it works. Uh, Haggis, do you accept the rope, or do you just want to saunter on in, like you own the place? I mean, sauntering does sound realistic. I'll I'll saunter in, we'll saunter <laughs> right in. <laughs> uh, take the rope, Robert. You're you're holding out the <laughs> rope, and he's <laughs> gone. I tried. Okay, right. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna grab the rope, Robert. I'm walking okay. through. Just as he hits the door, I say, guys, you realize we just got rid of the riffraff of the party. There's a lot of treasure to split if we go now. <laughs> he hasn't fully walked through the door yet as well. He's just Who are you talking to? Door. No one. I was talking to the rest of the group. Uh-oh. What I think group? we lost the feed from Frank. Leaf and Felix. That's who's left in I'm here. No, oh. they went through yeah. first. They Did jumped they through? through? Yeah. You're literally the only person left in the room. That is correct. Oh. I, sorry, I hit my mic button there. Okay. Well, now, uh, gonna... As the rope went limp and hit the deck as Copius went through. Wow. Copius, well, wherever you are, you're still holding part of the rope. You should go through the other door. Did it, did it go limp too? Rope. Did what? Did that part of the rope go limp too? So, I mean, like it was severed? Yep. It's dangling now. You have a dangling participle. Much like Felix here in a few more weeks. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, I, yeah. I'm going to grab a chair and throw it through the door. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Copious. As you hold the rope, <laughs> a chair comes flying out of the void. Uh, <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. Give me a deck save uh, to avoid getting hit. Bamo! <laughs> now, before I leave this room, I'm going to knock a few more pieces of furniture over and jump through the door. Six hit points as Copius <laughs> just has a knot growing on his head. Uh, I'm through the door now. The rest of the house or rest of the room. I don't know what, what my environment looks like, but I'm picking that chair up and winging that sucker right back into that void. Sure, you throw it into... Uh, woods you are you are stuck in a woodland scene along with leaf felix haggis and Manfang. uh it is a fey like world kind of forest <laughs> oh boy uh while robert is still trashing the place uh the timer egg timer has appeared in the oh, middle of this lush it. valley yeah and it says <laughs> You shall answer the riddle and the trail shall be seen. I'm screwed. <laughs> uh, are you ready? Yeah. Oh, sure. What do you find at the end of the line? And the egg timer starts to dwindle. A fish? What do you find at the end of the line? A fish. What do you find at the end yep. of the line? A fish? A hook. Ooh, hookers. <laughs> Death. I guess it depends on the beholder. The end. Uh, Copious, meanwhile, is just has a throbbing headache, uh, and he's not sure how this damn chair got in the middle of this fey-like environment. Uh, sadly, all five of you hear an evil giggle. Uh, meanwhile, back in the room, Robert, are you done trashing it? You ready to go through? Yes. Are you going to go through the same doorway that they did, or you want to try oh, a different do door? Okay. I'm going through the same doorway that they did. And it's Why? Oh, because I'm not going. You don't split the party, damn it. You should do it. I dare I'm sorry, you. have you seen all the on, previous episodes? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we could draw this series We'd out. Like, do uh, that uh, where the hell was August? <laughs> there, there's no drawing the series out. I go that way, and I'll, I'll just end up setting everything on fire and uh, <laughs> taking everybody with me. I, I bet like you wouldn't have. <laughs> okay, so you land right at the foot of Copius, 
who has this throbbing head. Unfortunately, Robert, give me a perception check. Right. Did he dodge the chair being swung backwards? Correct. A <sighs> one. Very good. You look down at Copius and go, hey, you, you got a thing on your head. The cackling evil laughter suddenly begins to coalesce above you as the egg timer is gone. And it appears to be a yellow dragon of some kind. And it exhales into your group. Everybody is going to need to give me a... I got dragon skin or something. Wisdom oh. save. What am I resistant to? Okay. Thanks, man. Wisdom save. You're screwed. Yeah. Eight, oh, wait. 18. My wisdom is plus one. Yay. 18. 18. I'm plus zero. Oh, God. I forgot 14. I have a box for that. 10. Ah. Three. Robert and Manfang seem to be taking a direct hit as the rest of you. <gasps> the yellow gas expended. Uh, Robert, Manfang, each of you give me a D6. D6? Yep. Six. Four. Uh, Manfang begins to wander off into the woods. Uh, Robert gets to re-roll the wisdom save. A 19. Aside from getting a little COPD action, uh, you shake off the uh, vapor. Uh, the yellow dragon disappears again. Uh, Manfang is wandering off into the woods singing to Ralu Ralu Ra looking for <laughs> leprechauns. What would you guys like to do? He'll be fine. Just let him go. Uh, I'm going to ask Manfang if I can take a hit of that. <laughs> <laughs> you got to try this, man. <laughs> well, as soon as the dragon reappears, uh, maybe it will. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go try to stop Manfang. He is uh, not agitated or aggressive so you can wander hit, wander around all of a sudden the party is surrounded by five yellow dragons answer the riddle to find the trail try again egg timer appears all right riddle the same what's at the end of the line nope new riddle Ugh. what kind of room has no doors or windows I have a mushroom. mushroom. No, no door. door. The one. egg timer disappears and a trail oh, you got it. opens up in between the trees, leading to yet one single door. Oh boy, look, another door. Way to go, Druid. All right, screw this. I'm going to the door. I'm opening it and I'm holding it for others to walk through. Man Let's thing. throw a chair through. Man thing. Go that way. Man thing. Walk through this door. Test by something, or did I get under? Just take him by the I hand. All right, good. All right, I guess I go through. I'm gonna I walk man thing through the door. <coughs> you I two have... give me a deck save. I wasn't going with him. I'm just pushing him through. Oh, okay. Man thing, give me a deck save real quick. Oh. <laughs> I fumbled. <laughs> you suck. You should use your box. It's better luck. Yeah, right. Maybe you should start rolling a D4. At least, you know, you'd have a little bit better chance of not fumbling. Yeah, probably. Uh, who wants to go second? I will. Give me a deck save. Uh, do, 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 do. <clears throat> Very good. Uh, who wants to go third? Go ahead, Felix. Nine on the deck save. Uh, as you walk through, you pass Leaf and you start to roll. Who's next? Haggis was trying to go through, wasn't he? Haggis and Copus are the only ones left. I no, can Robert. Do. Go ahead, Haggis. Okay. Deck save. What? Am I just walking through a door? Yep. Okay. And now your deck save for what's <laughs> on the other side. You've been gone a couple weeks. I'm still 19. Not. Very nice. Uh, Leaf, Haggis, both of you roll a straight up D20 for me, please. 
Yeah, I don't need to because I'm already dead. 15. 12. Uh, Haggis, despite your best effort, there's only room for one person on this precipice, and you begin to roll. Copious, uh, Robert, who's up? Robert, right. I'm holding the door. I'm going to pull it shut as I go through, but I want Robert to go through first. That's all right. I like to be the last one in the room. No, I'm thank you, Robert. Kind of gassy. I'm, go go ahead. You. I'm just going to push the door. Push the door. Close. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. All right. I'm going through the door and I'm pulling it closed behind me. Dex save. Uh, 21. Ooh, Leaf. Uh, you've been replaced. Uh, Robert, behind you, you notice that the trail through the woods is starting to close as the plants seem to be moving on. Uh, <laughs> he ain't going to let your ass stay back. A here, set of fool. vines <laughs> appear to be walking towards you and increasing its pace. <laughs> All right, I'm going to throw the chair through and then go after it. Uh, Copious, you replaced Leaf on the precipice, right? Yep. Give me a dex check. <laughs> one, 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 one. Uh, it flies over the escarpment. Uh, Robert, give me your dex save as you go on through. <laughs> no matter what, it was totally worth it. I agree. 15. Oh, uh, 17. <clears throat> good enough, but not good enough to move Copious from the precipice. All of you notice the feet of Manfang sticking up out of a deep sand dune. Uh, you guys are in a desert environment, and only Copious stands head and shoulders above you on a small precipice. But Copious, as you turn around, there ain't no door here. <clears throat> a set of tracks can be seen, though. But only by you. Uh, the tracks go north, 12 o'clock, and then move 10 o'clock. Right, I'm going to call down to the, the folks down below and say, hey, there's a set of tracks up here, but I don't see an egg timer. Presents down below my feet. I'm going to say, hey, somebody give me a hand with Manfang. There you go. <laughs> Manfang, you're only going to suffer. Five hit points of suffocation damage. I'll pull him up out of there. I As I start here. choking on sand, I was looking towards that one. You do know that you're going yeah. to be picking sand out of your garments for quite a while. You're gonna, Fine. you're gonna chafe a little. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking that probably gonna be hard to get cleaned out of that big scar down your face either. Uh, Copious, give me a perception check, please. 17. There is nothing as far as the eye can see except for dunes swirling in some unseen vapor. Over to the right, say three o'clock ish, is a cyclone that appears to be lazily making its way towards you. To the north, at the one o'clock area, you notice a trench, for lack of a better term. Uh, and then, of course, you see the tracks going 12 o'clock to 10 o'clock. Behind you, you see absolutely nothing. I'm going to relay some of what I see down to the group below and just emphasize that we, we may want to get a move on because there's a cyclone seems to be heading this way. Maybe follow the tracks as they're the only <laughs> sure path at the moment. I think the cyclones are path. It's the new door next doorway. It yeah, takes you to Kansas. Uh huh. We better go. I don't want to go to Kansas. I feel like I'm reliving the movie Time Bandits. Mm -hmm. You are. <laughs> <laughs> That's excellent film right there. I hadn't thought about that one in a long yep. time. I watched Willow last night and was thinking about Time Bandits because I most saw of those Willow guys were long ago myself. So, um, Copious, on his high perch, uh, has spotted your options. Ain't he always? I say we take the trail. Let's go to the Death Star Trench. I uh, yeah, we'll follow the trail. I, for the rest of this uh, world we're in, I'll be known as Copious Maw Deep. Nice. Uh, I was going to go with Moth, but... <laughs> uh, now, you said trench. That's at the one o'clock position. The trail... path, the trail. We'll yeah. follow the trail. Trail? I didn't okay. say trail first. I didn't know where they were all going. 
Ooh, very nice. Uh, Haggis, roll initiative. Oh, yes. Good. I got 14. Uh, not as good as my 18. Oh, okay. Uh, the sand below your boots starts to give way. <laughs> and you appear to be getting sucked down into a hole. Let's see if I can hit you. Uh, 14 plus 5, 19. Yes. Uh, you are dragged below the sand. Murder hobo dice. Six and a three. Uh, so six, three, and three. So 12 damage. Give me a DC 13 strength or dex to grapple your way out of this mess. Growing up in the 70s, we all knew quicksand would play a part in our life. Uh, 13? 13. Uh, you are managing to maintain uh, your position, but you can start screaming that you're being sucked below the sand. Uh, everybody else, go ahead and roll initiative for me, please. Uh, 15. Above him and say, Shy, 20 for copious. Wait, do I roll? And Am I conscious? Yeah, you're conscious. Okay, good. 13. A little in my box. There you go. Ooh, big numbers. Eight for... Uh, Haggis, uh, this is the end of the round. Uh, the others have noticed that you are being sucked under the sand but cannot do anything this round. What would you like to do? Um, is there anything I can grab on? I I just know the grab. Sarlacc pit has uh, tentacles. <laughs> I wondered. Come on, Fett. <laughs> yeah, I can do that. Go ahead and hit it. Okay. 19. Easily hits it. How much damage do you do? God, roll that. <laughs> Nine. Get Fair enough. New round. Uh, what the <laughs> hell? I got Haggis in my sights. Dice back to my original. Uh, 13 plus 5, does an 18 get you? It's your heavy metals, man. Heavy metals, man. Um, it is 18. Would that hit it, or is that... That hits, meets, or exceeds. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Seven hit points this time. However, you're going to need to give me another grapple roll. Strength or dex. Oh, oh. That was morning. 22. Oh, very nice. Uh, you scamper free as the tentacles barb into you. Uh, the next one up was a 15, actually. Copious, you get to react before Haggis does. Um, can I go ahead and cast a spell? Sure. I'm going to try to blast the tentacle if I can see it. So I'm going to call down, Haggis, don't move. Quit squirming. I'm going to shoot the tentacle. He's not blind anymore, so it's okay. <laughs> Hit him, Han. Oh, no. I didn't fumble, though. <laughs> it would have been two. Uh, Eldridge Blasts cuts right in between your thighs as you're scampering up, Haggis, uh, nearly giving you the moil experience of a lifetime. You're what, would you, gilded you. what would you like to do next, Man of War? <laughs> Who's up? Who's up? August. Oh, um, I can. Do I have to like? Can I attack? Sure. Okay. Do you want to go after Copious since he uh, nearly cut you to the quick? I'll take my chances. I'm gonna do Acid Splash. Ooh, very nice. Go ahead. Is that a two hit or do I need a Dex save that thing? Um. Dex, DC Dex. Yeah. Well, I'm not touching the dice. It doesn't get hurt. 11 plus Four, five, two, 13. 9. Yeah. Or 9, 5. 14? I need a 14? Um, yeah, that's what I got. No, 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 no. Do, do I need to deck save out of the way or do you need Yeah, to... yeah. Uh, 13 is all I could uh, gather. Was that good enough? What's your spell modifier? 8 plus... 
What's your proficiency, guys? Two or three? Three. So eight plus three plus, uh, and what do you use as a spellcaster? Um, what are you, a bard? Uh, no. Uh, rogue, but it was just in the... Uh, I forget what the rogue uses for its spell modifier. <clears throat> is it 13 or is it 5? I rolled, a, I rolled a DC. 13. If your spell DC is a 5, I fail and I take the damage. Okay. So how much damage was it? Um, I think it was 13. Okay. Or, yeah. Cl close enough. Uh, it's only numbers. Uh, next up is the 14. Oh, I'm sorry. That that was you. Uh, 13 is up next. That's uh, Robert, or that's Manfang. No, I didn't roll 13. I he rolled lower. lower. That's I rolled a five. I'm 13. Felix had the 13. Uh, no, I had it. Okay. Had it. Uh, so this is that. Uh, it's like a pit monster. Uh, it's kind of like an upside down octopus. It's called a dust digger. It's like the um. It's so a throwback to the 2E version. All right, I'm gonna drop a uh, bonfire right in the middle of it. Nice. What kind of boots did you have, Hoggis? <laughs> oh, see that part in? I thought he's scampering out. He's scampering out, but God forbid if he slides. <laughs> this might just be the motivation he needs to get the hell out. That's true. Uh, okay. Is that something you need to hit for? I don't or can you create it anywhere? just says create a bot. It says uh, save, attack, dex 11. Do you ever go anywhere where you don't burn shit? That's no. my question. I'm a wannabe pyro. I just have to do it in these games. Uh, total of nine. So, yeah, you, uh, baby, you light my fire. And four points of damage. That's going to sting a little bit. Uh, I guess burning the damage. Flames, burning damage. The flames start to lick at your boots. Uh, Man Fang, did you have the eight or the ten? I had the eight. Uh, that means Felix had the 10. You're up, Felix. Um, I guess I will shoot an arrow. Oh, oh my boy. God, he's doomed. <laughs> oh, look, it's oh going boy. to get it. Now, am I able to do a sneak attack here? Oh, it has no idea you're there. That's why you can oh, do girl. double damage on you, huh? I guess. <laughs> Good news is they're easy to hit. Ooh, 22. <laughs> oh, yeah, that'll hit him. Who, his own party? Yes, uh, he shot Haggis through both ears. There was no obstruction in between. <laughs> 15 plus 7 damage. 22 damage as well. Whew. That's some hardcore shit right there. Uh, Man Fang, uh, whatever is on fire and had Haggis is smelling bad and looking worse. You're up. What can I do to? The oh, I could spit acid at it. You could help Haggis out. I could spit acid. I could spit acid. I could spit acid. It's fine. I found a way to cheat the system. No. It's like don't touch the dice and roll it. I have this, so I'm just gonna shake it around and hope it works. We'll do it there, super. Sure. I will. Yeah, cause you suck, son. He rolled four. Ah, uh, very good. Haggis, you now have holes in your pants, but it causes no damage. So you have fire licking at your boots. You have a little bit of acid damage to your britches, and it's the top of the order, which means... I haven't went yet. Ah, oh, crap. Go ahead. <laughs> Sorry. Is Haggis still in that hole? He is uh, halfway in, halfway out. I'm going to throw Haggis a rope, say, Haggis, grab the end of this. Hit him. Uh, 16 plus whatever. Sure. Uh, Haggis, uh, as a reaction, are you going to grab the rope? Of course. Okay, you grab the rope. Top of the order. <laughs> uh, Haggis, uh, I'm just going to pick on you. Uh, not with a four, I'm not. 
Uh, so 15, copious. Uh, Leaf has thrown Haggis a rope. Haggis has gathered the rope. His britches have holes in them. His boots are a little bit on the charry side. Uh, Felix has uh, eyeballed the arrow directly into its gullet uh, right past the bonfire. Oh, Robert. So, Copius, can you save him or do you want to just shoot the rope? <laughs> I'm going to try. The, the thing's still twitching, right? Yep, it's still alive. Yeah, I'm going to cast a spell. I'm going to aim for that. <clears throat> oh, hey, that time I rolled a one. <laughs> so you hit Hoggis with the spell you were casting. I did, yes, yes. Sure, that works. <laughs> Let's just be clear. Please be grease. <laughs> no, Eldritch agonizing blast. Nice, <laughs> nicely done. <laughs> That's uh, half damage rounded up or down? Down. Uh, four points there, Haggis. Haggis, you take four hit points as you feel a burning sensation up and down your spine. I'm going to need a dex save to go ahead and hang on to that rope that Leaf threw you. The, the burning, that was from that dog pile with Felix. That wasn't from Copious's point. Probably. Seven. Yeah, you lose the rope. Leaf, uh, <laughs> you had the 15 for initiative, did you not? Muted. You're muted still, Pops. Sorry, it's hard to see on this little screen. I had a two. Oh, you had a two? I wonder where I got the 15. Okay. Uh, well, you ain't going then. <laughs> uh, Haggis, you're up. Uh, you want to try and reach for the rope or fight? So, am I like in, is there a mouth or am I in it? You are not in its mouth. Can I see the mouth? Oh, yeah. It's a beak. It's like you're in 20,000 leagues under the sea. Huh. I'll grab the the rope. Okay. okay. Uh, anything Dex. but a fumble, yeah. Okay. 14. Okay, yeah. You grab a hold of the rope, started screaming, get me out of here, get me out of here. Uh, Robert, I believe you're up next. I will... I want to help try to help get... Uh... Crap stain out. Did we lose AJ? Yeah, that's what it looks like. Okay. Oh, uh, I'm still here. Uh, AJ, yeah, AJ's he's still on my screen. Oh, okay. I switched around on me. Well, I got it up the the speakers, the main one, and then the small screen <coughs> has everybody. Gotcha. Okay. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna try to assist getting Haggis out of the hole. Okay. Uh, yeah, give me strength. That I got some of. 20. Oh, it was Le Leaf was missing. Oh, yep. Yeah, Leaf is gone. No, now he's oh, back. Oh, I'm here. Extend it out, Frankie. Fine. There, there's something going on here. But, uh, anyway, there, uh, there we go. Uh, so, what was your roll? Dirty 20. Yeah, you uh, grab a hold of the rope that Leaf's still hanging on to and give a mighty tug, pulling Haggis up to the rim. Uh, Felix. Deadshot, you're up. <laughs> Let's try it again. The gangly uh, tentacles are charred, and it doesn't look so hot. Looks like really crappy calamari. calamari. Seven to hit? Twelve to hit? Seven. Yeah. Uh, good news, uh, as your arrow goes into the sand, Haggis uses it as a ladder step to climb Higher, higher, man. I... <laughs> Go ahead. I meant to do that. Sure, you did. Uh, it's a curve arrow, which is a plus. Uh, man, Fang, you're up. I guess I'll shoot it with my longbow. This is where Haggis dies. It's it'll be he'll be fine. He'll be fine. And that's what they all said before he died. Ooh, nineteen. Oh, very nice. How much damage do you do? Because I am pretty sure you're going to kill this thing. One die eight plus one. <clears throat> you need three. No, it's not die eight. That's not that's a die twelve, so that definitely gives you an advantage. <laughs> they won't know. <laughs> In the way he rolls, he's correct. We will not Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if he rolls a die twelve, he might get two. Yeah, no, it's still alive. He rolled a one plus his one act bonus, so he's got a two. 
Uh, it's burning damage every round because this thing was set on fire. It causes burning damage. That is true. Leaf, uh, you still have a hold of the rope, as does Robert. Would you like to try something else and let Robert shoulder the load or just keep tugging? I'm yeah. thinking lightning storm. Tugging, lightning keep storm might be rope. a good place to use that out here in the desert, you know? Oh, yeah. I'm, sure, I'm sure there's no contacts there. Now, <laughs> no, as, I'm, as, just, uh, I'm just looking to see if anybody needs any healing. Okay. As uh, Robert has pointed out, the bonfire of the vanities is more than enough to kill it off in spite of Man Fang's martial prowess. The charred remnants of its tentacles drift beneath the sand as Haggis <laughs> <laughs> scampers to the top via the assistance of you and Robert. Uh, with that, the blazing sun is really heating up. Who's wearing metal armor? Not me. Okay. I uh, you you I guys don't remember. You yeah. guys look around. Copious, give me a wisdom check. Not save. Wisdom check. I have no metal armor. <laughs> I, Devin. I'm pretty sure the trail's over. 17. There. Where does it say from wearing armor? Copious never sounds that, that uh, wishy washy. Yeah. He's sure the trail is over there. I'm certain that it's over there. There you go. Um, I'm wearing chain mail. <laughs> oh, uh, you will fight at disadvantage for as long as you are here in the desert land. Can I take off my chain mail? Where are you going to put it? I, I think that's mean because, you know, he fights at disadvantage all the time. In you may I take your armor you off. I do not mind at all. Disadvantage. No. I thought it was just the hair. <laughs> okay. Uh, did you want to take off your armor? I don't mind. You'll take a disadvantage at your hit points. I know. In your armor class. I know, but oh, hit at least a tiny bit better. No, some with Frankie, three, it, three, it just three, means you it, it just means you roll the damage twice, so instead of two, you'll do two. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. Uh, uh, okay, just one. leave it on. That way you won't take as much damage. Don't uh, worry. If you get too hot, I'll pee on your armor to make it cool down. Don't you dare touch me. That works. Ever. It technically is not touching you. Copius is certain he knows the way <laughs> out. Uh <laughs> and as luck would have it. He has found the trail. Unfortunately, all of you here behind you, this egregious sound. <laughs> the <laughs> sand parts and a giant worm, I think it's purple in color, emerges from the sand about two football fields Do away. Do we smell cinnamon? Not yet, you don't. You're going to smell something here in a minute. <laughs> a voice is heard. Answer the question so the door may appear. I, uh... Damn it. How can a man go seven days without sleep? When he's, uh... when he's dead, right? It's easy then. I mean, if he's dead, he'd be technically sleeping forever. But... Who's the man? Hmm. It doesn't take questions. But, well, I want answers. I'm he, not going to answer if I don't get an answer. You can ask the purple worm because it's coming up on your six. It's not a man. <laughs> it's uh, a I agree with Copious on this one. But he's a boy. The purple worm is closing. Hmm. Hmm. I.e., you have not found the right answer yet. Yeah, can you uh, say it again? Uh, it will repeat. How can a man go seven days without sleep? And it's not when he's dead. I'm not, when he's a boy. not when it's a woman. Huh. When it's a statue? No. The purple worm is headed your way. I don't like this. <laughs> Alexa? <laughs> <laughs> How can a man uh, go seven days without sleep? With drugs? Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, Ketamine? He can, by staying awake, right? Yeah. 
I think the drug thing sounds pretty good. I was going to say, do we have some bennies? That would should do the trick. By the crystal methylene. Come on, guys. I don't know. This is hard. <laughs> Uh, how, how can a man go seven days without sleep? When it's a jar. Oh, wait, that's a different one. That's a door. When's a door? Oh, a newspaper. Oh, a jar. <laughs> Days. How many Dude days? was a lady. Uh, oh, the horse's <laughs> name was Friday. That, that one. <laughs> <laughs> Day is Friday on the Wednesday for the half day. And the priest slapped during, his head. By sleeping, yeah. at house, by sleeping at night. By sleeping at night. That's it. The purple worm emerges out of the sand and closes oh, over top of you. And you see a door appear in its mouth. It crashes down upon you and you find yourself in a city. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. <laughs> Who said that? Everybody, perception check. Ugh. My passing passive perception's eighteen. Does that count? Uh, I got nineteen. Uh, sure, I'll give you eighteen. Oh. I'll give you nineteen. Twelve, no. 19, Felix, nineteen. Uh, Twelve, nice. Felix and Haggis, uh, you enjoy the cobblestones and the beautiful fountains here. Uh, the lush surroundings of the urban environment are areas that you've seen before, although you are not familiar with this particular site. That is when Copious, Banfang, Robert, and Leaf tap you on the shoulder and point. You are in a metropolis filled with orcs. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Well, Robert's a half orc, right? Yes. What did he say? I missed it. I had a barking dog. I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. You are in an orcish metropolis. Uh oh. Oh, I look like an outcast then. I'm yeah, half you're half orc, half breed. Yeah. Wait, that's worse than just oh, a and helmet. Do they start screaming breed, breed? No, they're puzzled as to your miraculous appearance. Oops. And Where's that, Pops? Ta -da. I, for our next trick. My hands. Jazz hands. Jesse Wait, Owens. <laughs> yeah. Man quick, talk us out of this. Okay. I don't I speak. Yeah, I speak orc. I can oh, actually. Oh. What do you want to say? All right. They're diplomat. What this cannot uh, go wrong. I would like to ask them what, what's the city called. Good start. Give me a persuasion, persuasion check. check. A what? Persuasion, persuasion check. Persuasion. Persuasion. What's my persuasion again? Not what? enough to make up for uh, that. Six. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, the, the city is called Unsheathed because that's what everybody is doing. Uh, Felix. Hagas, the beautiful fountain that you initially looked at has a mermaid in the middle of it. And you notice that the mermaid's head is turning. Above the mermaid, an egg timer appears. And the mermaid says, during which month do people sleep the least? February. A portal opens up. Sweet. In the he fountain. Likes, fewer days, right? That's right. Fewer days. Yeah, good. Uh, the orcs are closing in on you. Diving through the portal. <laughs> Diving right behind him. Everybody else? Yeah, but like, is the sure. mermaid single? Like, is it... <laughs> Shut up. Would, would you like to hang out and ask her? <laughs> Here in yeah. the orc city of <laughs> Shire. <laughs> uh, as... You're looking pretty fly. Yeah. As everybody dives through, you notice you are on a parquet floor, highly polished, very glossy. As you look around, you are surrounded by bookshelves and wondrous pieces of art. A hallway leads straight ahead. Do any, does any, wait, are there people wait. around? There are no people within your view. Is there any plush furniture? 
there, there, are, there are several plush chairs. Are there any of them cut up or tossed around? No. Okay. Yeah. It appears as though you are in a library or a museum of unknown origin. Do any of origin. these things look expensive? Oh yes. I'm Every, told, well, there's stuff in the goods, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay I'm going to grab a few things that look expensive. Just so you know. As you do so, Man Fang, one of the paintings looks down at you. I'm going to put it down. And casts an offensive comment. Um, what you say? We'll go I with, have... this is the ugliest smile I've ever seen. Give me a wisdom save or suffer psychic damage. Plus one. Natural 20. He said F off. That's right. Uh, apparently, the painting wasn't talking in uh, his My language. Uh, everybody <laughs> else notices the paintings along the hallway all kind of turn and look at you. There's a young boy carrying a pail of water. There's a young maiden on a small wall. There are Dutch salesmen <clears throat> for some reason. And there is a lady who doesn't seem to smile. All of these paintings turn and look at you. Hey, Robert. Is there any torches nearby? Get fired to every one of these sons of bitches. Just do it now. No, no need uh, for fire. There are globes of illumination lining the hallway. And as you ask about the illumination, there is a small plush chair down the hallway that has its back facing towards you, but a pale purple glow is emitting from the other side. August, go cut that chair. Crazy idea. We just take, we pull, like, you know, when someone's sitting down and you pull the chair out so they fall down. Let's do that, but with, to the, yeah, let's do that. It's down the hall. Are you, yeah. gonna, oh, you're going to run down the hall and do that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. That's like a prank, you know. Who, who's <laughs> running down the hall with him? Just him? No, it sounds like, uh, Face boys going down there with him. <laughs> Hoggis, give me a wisdom save. Hey, 13. Noodle can do it. 13? Their comment stings you a little bit. Uh, something about uh, teaching a dog to walk backwards and shaving its butt for some reason. I don't see how that uh, <laughs> It hurts a lot because you take 12 hit points of psychic oh. damage at the oh. court uh, and take a knee before continuing to rush forward towards the plush chair, which you make it. Uh, as you guys watch Manfang, he is unaffected by any of the other paintings. Haga seems to have suffered a harsh rebuke what would everybody else like to do this particular round? Haggis will be at the table at the chair the next so round. Are there there are actual objects in this room besides the books? Yes, vases, uh, objet de art. <laughs> I'm I'm going to cast unseen servant. Have it uh, instructed to pick up an object dart and carry it down the long hallway to see if the uh, things react to it. Sure, it does not. Uh, so I can give it simple commands for a while yet. So when it gets to the end, I'm going to tell it to turn the chair around at the end of the hallway. It can do that next round. Okay. Uh, I'm going to cast detect magic. The paintings are magical. Yeah, I know that one already. I just want to see if anything else is. Nothing else is at this okay. end of the hallway. Felix can't stop looking at these paintings and He's looking around. Are any of them of a young, fair woman? D12 That's what against he's me. <laughs> oh, I hope so, because that thing's coming with me. Seven. Oh, <laughs> uh, you find a nude painting, and you are horrified to realize that odd Robert is in the gallery, or oh, no. you are in the gallery. Oh, you know what? Uh, One to two, three to uh, four. Five to six. Copious. A picture of a naked baby like Copious <laughs> is here <laughs> hanging with a small continual light globe over it. And you look at it and you think, eh. <laughs> but when you turn around to look at Copious, you just get a headache. <laughs> I'm going to look at Felix looking at me. I'm going to like what you see, Felix. 
you are familiar with cupids, right? <laughs> <laughs> you see the naked, hairless, copious, full bitters holding a uh, bow with a heart-shaped arrow at it. <laughs> I'm going to holler down to Felix and tell him to move, move out of the way. Oh, here comes the fire. Felix, <laughs> Felix, did you get that for me? I, I, I am casting burning hands. This abomination must be destroyed. Yeah, Felix is just the fire flabbergasted. Demanding Doesn't it. know what to make of this. That's a work of art, you, you barbarian. I looked into the flames and the flame god told me to burn it. Felix, grab that for me. Movies. Why not a TV series? Now, with the burning hands, it is going to shoot an arc, and Felix is in the way. I did so, say, Felix, get out of the way before I did that. Uh, that's true. You so, Felix, one party member says, hey, grab that for me. One party member says, hey, get out of the way. Uh, but before you answer, Leaf, you have not gone yet. What would you like to do? Because now that you're taking a drink of water, it's a perfect time to ask. Kind of thinking, uh, and I and now I don't really know what Robert's planning or anything. How long is this hall down to the chair? About forty feet. I believe. Uh, <sighs> you know what? Let's make life a little bit interesting for you guys. <laughs> Leaf, you hear a grinding kind of stone on stone. And as you turn around, there is a statue like this, but it is grinding into a position of movement. Oh, boy. The theater yeah, yeah. is done. Yeah. Thunk yeah. This is Doctor Who now. Yeah, it you is. That little thing. with the just, little... just keep staring at it, Leaf. It won't move if you stare at it. I'm, gonna, I'm going to... Uh cast a uh, uh, flame blade and run down the hall and drag that blade down one side of it through all the paintings. The side where Felix is or the side where Felix is not? The side where Felix is not. Fair enough. As you do so, give me a wisdom save. Because they see you coming. That would be a 20. Dirty. You are unaffected by it. Uh, Robert, Felix, straight up D20 rolls. Uh, see what you want to see who goes first. 11. Robert, you have the advantage. Do you just want to light them up or let it go? I'm lighting them all up. As many as I can get in my arc. Including Felix. No, I said I was waiting for him to move. So if he hasn't moved yet, I'm not shooting. Okay. Felix, you're going to move. You're going to take the painting. Uh, you're going to watch as Leaf the Vandal goes, <laughs> <Shh>. <laughs> I think I'm going to reach up and take the painting. Uh, thanks, Felix. And, and hold it in go, front buddy. of you. <laughs> Tell me it's on my side. It is not on your side. Damn it. Uh, Robert? I'm going to holler out and drop it. I'm setting that bitch on fire. I'm going to respond. Why would you set this on fire? Have you seen this thing? It's Count tiny. Down. This Count thing down. is teeny Four, tiny. Three. Look two, at it. I'm Look at it. it. Hands up. Now you will feel the full force of the dark side. Ah! Low copyright right out of the goddamn. Opius, way. I'm going to say talk to Jason for a minute. That doesn't creep you out. I don't know what would. <laughs> Wait, tasteful, <laughs> dude. Uh, what part am I supposed to be creeped out by? Two seconds. I'm torching that bitch. Felix. Yeah, I'm, pulling it, I'm pulling that sucker out, rolling it up, going in my tent cane. Uh, he dropped it. I'm torching now. I dropped oh, it. He, he handed I'm it. I'm torching it. I'm handing it. Fire. I don't if, care. if Copia steps in it, he's going There's to There's a hellacious group terror. coming at you if you torch my painting. I'm torching that whole side. <laughs> uh, Felix, uh, D20, as long as you don't fumble it, uh, he'll be able to roll out of the way. <laughs> oh, no, I'm good. 18. Fire, fire. Uh, everything, including uh, two dogs kind of with their heads tilted looking at some triangular object uh, managed to get emoliated here. Uh, good job. <laughs> uh, no dogs playing dice. No, no dogs playing dice. I thought about uh, D20 or 
RPG in that thing, but no. <laughs> so, uh, sorry, Copious. Uh, that priceless work of art is no more. Robert's going to pay. I, Robert I, I, already paid with eyesight seeing that. Pay. I, w- I would make him pay. Vengeance uh, is mine, says the Copious. Uh, this round... Um, Haggis actually reaches the end about the same time as the Invisible Servant does. Uh, so Haggis uh, and Jace, or Haggis and Copius, uh, Copius rolling for the Unseen Servant. Roll a straight up d20. Let's see who gets to yank it out first. Ten. Apparently, they're still doing the prank of ripping the chair 16. out underneath whatever that is. Haggis yanks the chair away, and there is just a purple glowing light. Above it, an egg timer appears. Damn. The walls are going to close, I bet you. Uh, What fruit is always sad? Ketchup? (laughs) (laughs) Technically, tomato is a fruit, so... What fruit is always sad? Uh, a clown? Uh, sad fruit. I don't know. They call them vegetables. Despair. That's nice. <laughs> Strawberries, grapes, watermelon, muskmelon, raisins, plums. Whatever word, the room starts to grow smaller. Tingleberries, raspberries. Potato? No. Potatoes are vegetables. What fruit? Yes, is potatoes are vegetables. As the egg timer ticks down, hey, you gosh. all hear the thumping as the stone figure begins to run down the hallway towards you. Tick tock. Right. We're gonna have to fight this one. What's the what's the riddle again? What is, uh, yeah, the is- riddle is what or no? What fruit? Is always sad. Uh, 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 blueberries. There you go. A portal opens up. Son of a bitch. Right you know, I was this close to it before. Uh, Dingleberries. The, you didn't even uh, catch that one. As the as the oh, I caught it. <laughs> as, <laughs> as the portal opens up, Leaf, <laughs> you see three items bathed in blue. You also notice the sco- the stone golem coming true. Three items in the portal? Three items bathed in blue? Three items on the walls. On the walls. Pictures? Not pictures. Uh, Small ornaments. I will pick them. Uh, How many are you going to pick? Because there is the possibility of getting blocked. Damn it. I'll go. I'll grab number one. Okay. Uh, You grab number one, and it is a copper orb uh and you notice that the stone golem is closing fast i assume the rest of you are going through the portal yeah i'll grab number two yeah i was gonna say if he's not grab grab whatever as we're heading through the blue magic detect magic is only apparent to him i'm going to cast uh real quickly cast uh entangle at the golem. Okay. Can you roll that? Uh, I think I need a deck save, but you might check. And uh, if I do, that is my first nat 20 of the day. <laughs> strength. Uh, well, nat no, 20. wait a minute. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> if uh, I have to roll shit, it's a nat 20. It's a nat 20. Creature in area. If, the if cast spell you... must succeed on strength saving throw or be restrained by the entangling plants till the spell ends. The plants fall from its legs, even though it looks like tube socks. It's coming full bore. Hey, yeah. I'm, got, I'm gonna grab the second item off the wall. Give me a wisdom save. <laughs> that would be 18 and 5, 23. Uh, it will get between you and the portal if you go for the second one. Damn it. And your associates are all piling into the portal. I'm going to try one more thing with him. Okay. 
Eat those spell slots. <laughs> I am. You guys can do the heavy lifting. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, I'll get them. I'll get them for you. I, I assume everybody else gonna, is diving into the portal, correct? Yeah. Um, he, he didn't. Have he's any, he's coming from the right? way we came, right? I'm gonna cast Thunder Wave. Okay. It won't and that's a 24 to cast it. That hits him. <clears throat> and he, oh, I got to, he takes damage. Yep. The hell's my die? Oh, there it is. Six, six, 12 points of damage, and it shoves him 10 feet away. It will allow he has you a time to save grab, bro. Oh. Sixteen plus three, nineteen. All right, then he only takes half as much damage. I'm gonna grab number two and run for the orb, or run for the gate. Okay, uh, give me a dex <sighs> check to hang on to it. Uh, fifteen. You hang on to it. Uh, you put your finger right into the vase. Okay, I got it. And I you're got it, guys. The vase I got on it. You. And you got the ball in the other hand. Uh, do you dive through? Yeah. <laughs> dive through. Uh, you find yourself in a kind of a another precipice. It's just highly polished obsidian. Uh, the rest of the party is already looking over, and you see hexagons about three feet wide. The floor is made of these hexagon oh, materials. Great. Uh, beyond, right over there is a door, and those who are perceptive enough can see a, a small wooden box sitting on a stone pedestal. Can we see right walls that and door ceilings way. inside this place? You, you do not. The floor Damn. Has to step on the wrong one. How far away is it? The doorway? The, where the box is. It's, uh, it's 120 Jeez. feet. I want to throw some stones out in front of me. Before? I got a handful. Sure. I'm just going to throw them out. I bet you something like that. my things now. So your, your first stone, roll a d4. Four. Uh, it lands and stops. Well, depends. How far are you throwing well, these stones? First couple, by the I'm way. just going to throw in the ones right in front of me. You know what? Right. Better yet, so, I'm just going to take a handful of them and kind of like you know roll them across the floor right directly towards the uh, box. I don't know how far I'll get with that. I don't know how far you allow it. Sure. So let's say you grab six more aside from the first one. So number one, roll your d4. Two. Uh, second one. One. Next one. Four. And last Four. one. Uh, every stone that you landed on drops about five feet. I knew it. But the first stone yeah. didn't drop didn't at, all. at all. Is there any stones around it that didn't drop? Oh, hold on. We only rolled four times. Uh, sorry. Go again. Two. That fell. And two again. And that fell. So all six of your successive stones caused each hex to drop about five feet. Except for that first one right in front of us. Mm -hmm. So you got one safe one. And I will say that the pattern is random in front of you. The ones that fell? Yep. Yeah. What if you take out the end of your sword and tap them? I have no clue. You want to do that? 
I mean, I'll take an arrow because I have arrows. I don't want to accidentally just get to get. You gonna shoot arrows at the different? No, I'm gonna tap the arrows in front of tap the slots in front of us. Okay. Well, I don't know. I don't want my sword to get sucked in there or my great axe. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't either. That's why I'm gonna do. All right, Mm -hmm. I'll I'll tap the next one in front of the one that's apparently safe. So they're three. (laughs) They're three foot uh, wide, three right? Foot by three and it's three 120 feet. Aw- away? Mm-hmm. Okay. You know, I've got a bag of ball bearings. That means yeah. there's 40, there's 40 freaking, well, there's 39 that are in front of us. Well, there's 40 in front of us of these hexes going straight. One is safe. And then, did, and five more or six more is what we said. Correct. Six more fell. So six more fell. How many wide is it? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six wide, 40 long. It's going to be a long time. Roughly. This is wonderful. Mm-hmm. And, ooh, and it was just ooh. sporadic which ones fell ahead of us. Oh, great. Can, so. I, can I tell roughly how far out they look like? Oh, it looks like six foot out. That looks like it's only... I'm designing it right now. <laughs> Jesus. Only the pennant man can cross. That's Only true. Steal! All right, who wants to play Indiana Jones? Haggis? <laughs> Just run real fast, straight. <laughs> it's uh... Okay, so your safe one is here, then there's an unknown, and then there's a drop. All right. Here. Well, I'm just going to keep I'm so just safe, unknown, first drop. So I could probably reach across three feet and like kind of. The first me. one's safe. You exactly. can stand on it. I know, exactly. Get out there. Fine. I'll step on the first one and like throw an arrow at the one that's not, that's random, right, right in front. Not the one right in front because that would be the one that. He said dropped. it's unknown. Do you oh, see it? Fun. Do you see this? Uh, uh, no, I got there. it. I'm sorry. We got it. Something else set up. Okay. Yeah, I, I can see it. It's the I can see person. it also. The, the black is the safe zone. You yeah. guys are on row 27. The yellows are dropped. All right, then I'll tap the one in front of it. D4. Here. Just be careful of the mine. Four. Four. This is like, what's that, minefield? Uh, yeah, it's, it's, that's what um, I just said. Be careful of the mine. Yeah, it's um, mine. It is, it is safe. All right, then I'll tap the one to the left of it. That's uh, your right. Your oh, point sorry. At. Right. Sorry. I'm the dummy. This one? Yes. yes. D4? You got to keep rolling, son. Four. All right. All right. Guide the path there, guiding light. Oh, now it's uh, it. being a diplomat and trailblazer. Wait, I'll tap the one in front of it. And I rolled a one. I think that one's a bye bye. <laughs> Yay. Yay. No mine. I'll tap the one in front of it. No whammies. No whammies. I rolled two. No whammies. No whammies. No whammies. Ah. Wah, wah, wah. So wait. Well, that's not a good path then. Well, you might have to make a jump, three foot jump. Well, I'll make. I'll tap. You can the make one. a three foot jump, or you can jump one foot to either side, or three well, foot oh, to either okay. side. Then can I tap the hexagon to the right of the one I just tapped? So like, yes, that twenty three H three dropped out. Go to the left, too. All right. 23F. 23F, yeah. B9. 23F. <laughs> uh, three. Yeah. 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 All right. Now you got to right. jump over there. Jumped over. I jump over, and then I tap the one in front of it. And I rolled four. Ah. All right. I tap the one to the left of it. I could have always just thrown a bunch more pebbles out. I got a pocket full of them. I know, but th- I, this this time I'm actually doing something. You, you're feeling good about your I'm work? I'm feeling good about myself. Okay. 
Yeah, I've got a bag of ball bearings too that might be of assistance. I was going to say, if you want to do that, just roll a d20. Yeah, let's just. And then at d6. Uh, throw out those ball bearings. Or I'm sorry, d, d5 or d10 and split it. Go ahead, Alex. D20, then a d10. Yep. Alex. I'm rolling. Hold on. Come on, Alex. Guys. Hurry up, man. Everybody's waiting on you, Alex. Yeah, hurry up. <laughs> so d20, I rolled a 10. D10, I rolled a six. D4 for me. Three. Now, everybody else can throw gold if they want for all I give a shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We'll die first. <laughs> So anybody who wants to roll, hey dad, you think you could jump? Hey dad, D20, you think you could D20, D10, and D4. Oh, I'll, sorry, I'll start with sure. Leaf. Did you want to throw anything? Still me. No, I'm just letting him do it. Okay, uh, Copius, did you want to throw anything? Hagus, did you want to throw anything? Robert, do you want to throw anything? Who was the next one? Robert, you? Yeah, I, I still got it. I, I had a huge – I stuffed a bunch of rocks in my pocket. So, so you, Manfang, and Felix. So you first, D20, D10, D4. 18. D10. 8. And you got my D4, son. 2. Man Fang, your throw. All right, I don't have anything to throw, so I'll tap I'll tap the one to like I'll tap twenty two G. D four and two. Felix. Right. Uh, twenty, right. and then two, and then four. Robert. Uh, eight, nine, two. That's your only option there, man, Fang, yep. since you're tapping. Yeah. Four. <laughs> You're going to have to jump. Okay, I'll tap. Can I tap the one in front? Can I tap like 22F? Can I tap that? Can I reach it? You're going to have to go back, bud. I'll have to go back. F, but 21F. Felix. 24. 13, 6, 3. It'd be a three-foot jump. He's saying tap 24. E and go back one. You got to go back, tap 25 or 24. Yeah. What was your middle roll? Six. Or you can just take a leap of faith. Well, it depends on what's in the bottom of these holes. Robert. 15, 10, 2. I haven't had one of these yet. Okay, man, Fang, uh, you have to go back to 25F if you want to do anything. Or Make a leap of faith, Frankie. Just jump no. to 21F. I'll see go, what happens. Tap, you can tap where you're at. Tap back to 24. Back 24E. Okay, 24E. I'll go to that. Roll. Three. <laughs> All right. Well, at least you know where you got to go. Felix. 12, 9, 4. Uh, lands on the black one. 
Oh, perfect. Robert. 15, 7, 1. Minefield, that's what it's called. No, Minesweeper. 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 Manfang. I'll tap 25E. And it was a one I tapped it with. No, no. All right. 25. All right. Is it See, this would have been a lot more fun if you guys would have just sauntered across the hexes. <laughs> <laughs> Felix, you're up. Uh, six, two, one. Robert. Oh, ten, two, two. See, I wonder if I just do Thunder Wave out on the farthest one I can reach, if maybe that would knock them loose. Try it. You both got Thunder Wave. You would leave. It could. I, I like I it because we're going to be here all day otherwise. Do it. Now, I'm trying to speed this up. Sure. So Thunder Wave, what's Thunder the wave. distance? 15. 15 is the distance? Yeah. Uh, so... Where's pencil? I used up two of my slots for the day, destroying that atrocious painting, and now this. It was a work of art. That was an abomination. It was a work of art. It needed to be destroyed, sir. I don't know what I'm doing, but I know it when I see it. What do you say? Wow. Same kind. Yes. I know. I should have done this first. You know what? Now I'm going to start. Yeah. Now I'll start doing it this way. Odd. We'll expedite this process.
Yeah, you guys are hitting a lucky streak now. Yeah. Till it ends. <laughs> yeah, you guys you guys can make these jumps though. You say that, but if you're gonna make us roll, we're screwed. <laughs> oh, it's not like you're gonna die most of the case. No, it's gonna be like that uh, Jumanji game. You're just gonna fall through the floor and then come back from the ceiling with one less hash mark on your arm. Yeah, but you get to be the rock, so you know. No, I'd be Jack Black in this. <laughs> but appropriately, Alex would come back as a chick. That's true. Yeah, that, that's uh, not right. This is crappy. He'll come back as Griselda. Oh, I should be so lucky. Okay. Maybe not. <laughs> You could then you could be what you always dreamed of, pincushion. Yeah, I was gonna say, as I recall, Griselda wasn't much tread left on those tires. <laughs> he certainly <laughs> kicked them enough. <laughs> Did you guys see that painting of Copius in there with a the little teeny thing? <laughs> okay, Felix, there you go. Felix is gonna be laughing about that Copious painting for quite some time. The artist took some liberties, Felix. Uh, yeah, <laughs> making it a hundred times larger than life. Right. So, it that. appears as though you're going to have to make a leap of faith. From where to where? Here to yep, here. Let's do it. That's what, like three foot? Yep, three foot. Yeah, easy peasy, man. So, f who's first? Dex oh, check. Everybody's first. <laughs> you can only go one at a time. Let the ranger go. <laughs> we have a ranger? Who's the ranger? Yeah, the we got Felix. August. 14. Oh. Uh, Hoggis makes the leap. I believe Felix is what you call a danger <laughs> ranger. Matt 20. Makes the leap. Would you use an acrobatics modifier? <laughs> I will give you acrobatics if you prefer. 12. Okay, uh, you barely make it. I don't think I want to jump yet. I'm going to wait for everybody else oh. until next round. Barely makes it. Leaf and Manfang. Um, I think I'm going to wait this one out. Uh, I'm not very sure. confident in my role. I'm going to stay. Hey, 22. Easily. Okay, yeah. so everybody. Uh, do you have rope? We should still no, have. You're not. Yeah, do you still have that rope? Some. I got two rope. halves of the rope. So, yeah, you have two halves you of it. it. Maybe you'll make it. Let's. We can tie a rope to to Manfang before his deck right. plummets him to the bottom. But I, I'll toss one end of it over across to him, tell him to tie it around himself. But yeah, let's pull me across harder. No, no, somebody's going to hang on to it with me. I ain't holding it. <laughs> we, need, we need, like, everybody who's on the side to hang on to it, or he's going to drag us all to our doom. Yeah. How the good news is uh, you've got two areas that should be more than helpful. Yeah. I all think right. we all just tie ourselves to the rope. Come on, man, Fang. Roll a good I'm number. Them for all. All right, I'm going to try and jump with Do it. Nine. He rolled a nine. Uh, over he goes. How many people were hanging on to the rope? Hey, all, all of us were hanging on on the other side, right? I was eight. Yes. Uh, you feel a huge yank. Uh, Man Fang, as you look down precariously held up by this rope, you see something coming out of the blackness that looks like teeth. <laughs> Booby tracks! Pull me up! Booby trap! Booby trap! Man Fang, D12 against me. Come on, Jaws of Death. Ten. Snap. Swing and a miss <laughs> as you are pulled up from tremors. Uh, everybody is on this particular section. Right. Move on to the next. So you can walk across. So everybody is right here. This is going to make it a little bit more difficult to hang on to the rope. Nest All right, I'm going to tie myself to the other end. Okay. And both jump at the same time? Uh, 14. Jump first leap. 
You are over. I'll jump over. Okay. 14, 4, 18. You're right, over. So now, there, there's three. These are three footers. I'm going on to the so, next one. So you're going to keep going over seven, to the next eight, one? That 7 8 area. Okay. Well, if I go over to the next one and then you're holding on to the rope as you jump across, at least then if you fall, you got the rope in your hand. Yeah. 23. Okay. So you're over on 7 8. Yep. Robert is on 10. Robert, do you want to jump over to 7 yep. 8? What's the status of the Making rope? 20 again. Jesus, I'm wrong. Time. Uh, I, I think you guys got what thirty feet left of that. Since well, we had two ropes. Yeah, I just want to be tied off before I try to jump. And if I'm not nothing mistaken, to, nothing to tie it off too. No, the I'm part, one of yeah. their bodies. The only oh. part of the rope that got cut was the end that uh, uh, Haggis had a hold of, right? Yeah, we we should have like Co Copious held part of one, and then Robert held part of the other, and Copious walked through, severed it. When? So you, you got about 30, 40 feet. I'll give you but that. What I'm saying is we had two silk ropes to start with. Mm -hmm. They're on the ship. <laughs> Remember, you kept most of your shit on the ship. Yeah. This is just your regular old rope. Yeah, yeah. I just want to make sure somebody somebody's uh, tied off on this rope before I jump. Robert Robert is tied off. I've got a hold man of it. Fang is tied off. And I've got a hold of it. Because I am swinging underneath one of these platforms. I got something you can swing under. I rolled an eight. Give me a strength save to hang on. Us or him? Him. Uh, ten. You're hanging on, uh, Robert. You and Manfanger <laughs> moving closer to the precipice. Uh, for, fortunately, he's uh, half leaned, so then you move back out. Uh, Copius, give me two decks or acrobatic rolls to uh, hand over hand it. Oh We're going to play with that rope. What about that die before it kills me? 10 on the first one. Pass. 22 on the second one. <laughs> <laughs> Sweating profusely, you managed to cross over. You are with Robert on 10. Uh, Leaf is on the other side, 7, 8. He does not have the rope. Who's next to cross over the precipice? Go ahead, Felix. You know, Felix, he's six feet tall. He's not that worried about these little three-foot hexagons. Oh, you can step over that, man. Ball, yeah, man. it's a, practically a step. And with a natural 20, I'm demonstrating how easy this is. Pays to be tall. <laughs> it does. Haggis, you're up next. Yes. Is Haggis tied off before he tries this? I'm on the rope I'm Only holding it. Only two people are tied off. One person's old, or two people are old. Uh, I got 13. Uh, okay, Man Fang, you're the last one. <laughs> oh, Man Fang, you can now, go. Uh, now, hang, hang on just a second. Felix or Haggis, one of you is going to have to evacuate and go into 7 8. I, or if you feel really gutsy. I will, I will stand you, over and try to help him across with a hand. Uh, I will give them advantage if, if they want guess, to do that. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah, a walkover. I'm seven, six foot two. I don't have a problem with getting across these things. Yeah, that's so. fine. I easily make it across. Sure. Haggis, you want to uh, move over or stay? I further to get to the end. So, okay, go ahead. That's a fifteen. If he's off, okay. Advantage, uh, okay, man, Fang, right. it's up to you. Did you get it that time, or did you need the? Uh... I'm falling. <laughs> Let's just say it didn't even hit double digits. Nice, uh, Copius. Are you hanging on to Robert I to was, help him? Yeah, I was trying. Yep. Copius, okay, that's not the rope. Okay. That's the other rope. Hey, it's, how about it's how bad was rope. it? Must be the broken end. Yeah. What was that? A six, bud? Yeah, it was a six. Six mm -hmm. plus what? One seven. Give me a strength save now. Who, me? Nope, him, because here comes Hold your strength, teeth. bud. It's a good thing it's high. Ten. No, plus. All right. No, no. that's what – you rolled a max of ten. You have a plus five. He rolled five. <laughs> plus five. Something scrapes the bottom of your boot as you get hauled up by Copius and Robert. Strength 
Uh, good news is to cross this next section, there's plenty of room uh, and Leaf is offering a hand so you can roll at advantage. Roll good, man fang. You're crossing the last Man fang, second. copious, and Robert are the ones that need to get over. It's a damn good thing he was offering advantage. 13. 20. 20. That was not, yeah, 20 minus the zero. Roll again. It's these metal dice. They're weighing him down. Apparently. I don't know what it is, man. Maybe it's the box. Oh, my God. It's not the box. No, it's just you. You want me to roll for you? Here. Yeah, I'd like here. you to roll for here. me. Use this program because you just suck. Let's see how bad you are here. There yeah. you go. Do that. Okay. Just seven. 18. 18. Two. 12. Too bad. I'm rolling with the I'm rolling with the computer now because it does better. Okay, it does better. He still rolls twos and sixes. So you guys are on the blues. So yeah. uh, who wants to go first on to five? I will take the rope. Take the rope. It's tied off to him. Okay. At twenty again. You're over. Um, who wants to jump second? Go ahead, Felix. Uh, 16. Leaf? 20. Dirty. Uh, I'm assuming Manfang's last. Copious or Haggis? Uh, somebody's helping me across, right? Yeah. Natural 20. You don't need any help. Haggis? 13. Uh, Manfang? Oh man, Fang! Don't oh, hold me in. The computer, the program on the phone helped. I got a. I rolled a nineteen. Uh, everybody, make one more jump to three, and you'll be home free. I, somehow, I I just don't feel like that's fifteen. A, another nineteen. You 14. scorn me. Scorn me. <laughs> <laughs> You're hating this electronic dice thing, aren't you? Oh, I, I don't mind. I really thought I'd get somebody by now. <laughs> Robert, Felix, or Haggis? 14. Nine. <laughs> Were you hanging on to the rope? Nope. <laughs> I did get one. <laughs> Haggis? Dreams do come true. Uh, 12. Uh, Felix, as you free fall... Your free fall and Tom Petty, you see teeth coming up out of the midst, and everybody atop sees Felix engulfed. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> I've come to talk with you again. Holy shit, that's a lot. Uh, Felix, <laughs> uh, Jesus Christ. We'll say Felix has disappeared from view, for lack of a better term. Uh, the road ahead to this room where the wooden box is at is right there. Uh, too bad about Felix, but there's a box. Yeah, who better gets that way? There's not, uh, you know what? I have to do what I can. I'm going to take one pebble out of my pocket, cast light, oh, can't trip on it, and drop it down to follow Felix. Yes. And then Robert, if wow, we that is a long way. <laughs> I, you know, it's only oh yeah. It gets fainter and fainter. And and fainter. Twenty foot spear. <laughs> yeah, and, and you hear nothing. All right, let's go to the box, guys. That that was it was nice knowing Felix. He's got many children. Atop a atop a white limestone Damn. column is this rosewood box inlaid. Uh, clearly, as described, this is the item that Diego wanted you to get a hold of. Uh, surrounding this pillar are a lot of trunks. A lot of traps? Is that what you said? Trunks. trunks. <laughs> trunks. No, traps I are rats. Trunks. I heard traps. Oh, yeah, he's gonna, probably right. I'm I'll say chests. For, I'm going to check for traps on one of the trunks and then open it if I can. Sure. Uh, give me your uh, roll 
for the, tr the uh, inspection. And you know what? Let's make this fun. Why don't you just roll for initiative? <laughs> because the mimic is going to attack. <laughs> uh, let me get back to the mimic. Hey, Whoops. the screen's uh, back. Yeah. The, that uh, that challenge uh, that challenge took way too long. Okay, uh, copious as you check for traps. Uh, Eighteen plus five. The mimic, wham, uh, hits you with the pseudopod and drags you towards its mouth. Uh, the pseudopod hits you for uh, six plus three nine. You need a DC 13 to avoid being dragged into its maw. So DC 13 strength or 14 dex. 14 natural rolls, so 18 total. You firmly plant your feet into the stone floor and scream, ah, ah it's got me. Everybody else roll for initiative, please. Oh, Christ. I got 14. 20, dirty. Right. Yeah. Electric Whoa. dice. All right. Computer dice. Failed. Your roll. Haggis and uh, 14. 20. Uh, who am I missing? Copious, what was yours? Well, I rolled a natural one. Uh, go ahead and reroll. That was for your stealth check. Uh, nine. Fair enough. Uh, Felix, how about... Oh, never mind. <laughs> uh, Nat 20, you see Copious uh, surrounded by some kind of plasma-based item. Mine was a dirty 20, by the way. That's I'm okay. Sorry. Okay. I've got to take my... Uh, 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 whatever the hell my sword is and swing at the pseudopod. Sure. AC 12 to hit the Mimic. That would be a 15 plus something. If I hit it. Uh, Easily. Uh, seven points. Uh, that'll work. Uh, it's between you and Copious, so you're odd. He's even. Odd. I will go after the druid. Thanks, so. Uh, six plus five is 11. I miss. Yep. Next up are the two 14s. Nope, missed. Wait, wait. It's uh, that's 15. It was what the hit? 12. All right. Uh, you would have this. Two plus five, seven points of damage. August. Four. Hit or damage? Uh, hit. Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, Man Fang, you're up. Great X. Yep. Oh, wait, stack. Uh, let's see here. Oh, please be a one. Please be a one. Please be a one. Please be a one. You please be a one. You missed with both swings. Yes, but did he miss and hit something else or just miss? Uh, no, he just sucks. Not super sucks, just sucks. He's just Leaf, sucks. top of the order. And Felix, you have a message. Okay. Uh, Each of your body parts are in one of these trunks, Felix. <laughs> Just the genitalia. <laughs> uh, 16, these are canoptic one, charms. That's what they are. Seven, 17. Seventeen. That hits. Uh, six points. <laughs> uh, now I can go after anybody except Felix. See, Felix, I saw the good things. Uh, I am going to one leaf. I have a hankering for druid. Fifteen plus five, dirty twenty. Give me a DC thirteen to avoid getting dragged in. Strength or dex. You are also going to. That take, would be a sixteen. Uh, you take seven hit points of damage, but hold your ground. Hold, hold. Bring that shit to me. Uh, 14s, Robert and Haggis. Yeah, 18 to hit. <laughs> okay, how much damage? <laughs> Why? No reason whatsoever. <laughs> did I miss something? Yep, you I think Felix is doing something stupid. <laughs> 
Oh, I, I, I don't think. Ten yes. Points of damage. Very nice. <laughs> uh, Haggis. Last thing I heard, the old man was attacking it. 13. That hits. Okay. I have been attacking it. Two. Attacking the mimic. That's 11. Oh. <laughs> uh, you splatter it. Mimic. It's mimicking. J it, Jason looks like the mimic, I think. And I just might have hit him. Uh, that's, that the box is good. still on the pedestal, and there are more trunks. More than there were before? No, one less, actually. <laughs> I'm taking the box off the pedestal. A light fills the room. And you are back in the original room. There are only two doors here. One appears to be the door that you came in through. The other is the door to the right. And it just shut. Let's go through the door to the right. No, no let's go through the one we came in through originally. Wait a minute. Are all of us here? Felix is gone. Oh, uh, great. He's gone forever. All right. Well, see him later. Oh, let's get out of here. Should wait. we pick up this loot now, or do you want to wait until later? Wait, wait, wait. Shit's gone. We're in the room that the original room for the building with all the plush furniture that Haggis destroyed. Minus one chair. Correct. And, and the, <laughs> the the door that started this escapade is now gone. So we have the door to exit and the door we haven't gone through. Correct. Yeah. And the door that you haven't gone through just shut. I'm gonna to try to open the door we haven't gone through. Blackness. I'm gonna grab a chair. I got the box. I'm walking through the door. Fair enough. I'm I'm gonna follow him if he's got the box. <laughs> Felix, give me a D4, please. I'm gonna grab the druid before he goes through and whip a chair through the door. One. Lucky you. Uh <laughs> copious at disadvantage, dodge the chair. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Uh, six. Uh, you're going to take some more damage. You're taking five <laughs> hit points of damage. Your face go, you go face down in the snow. Ahead of you, uh, your compatriot, Felix, also in the snow, is fighting Ice Mephits. Uh, Felix, you have one round of combat before uh, Copius gets clunked on the head. Someone is at my door. Give me one second. I got to run. Sure. <laughs> Drew it. When we step through, just scream, Poltergeist. That room is full of Poltergeist. Oh, hell no. Your ass is going through first. I, I will. Going through first. I'm going to run through the door screaming, Poltergeist, they're back again. I'm, I'm just going to start setting off Eldritch Blast the minute I walk through a door backwards. <laughs> what door? There's no door there. You walk through that door, that door disappears. Well, I'm assuming whatever object is flying at me is coming through each time I walk through oh, a yeah. door. It came through. Hey, one of us has got to bring the comical edge to all this. Uh, okay, I, I give. Which one? Because it appears as the whole. You know. <laughs> okay, Felix, give me initiative. Four. Fourteen. Uh, how many are first round? Ooh, you're going to get your ass beat. <laughs> uh, spiny little giant icicle creatures are coming through. Uh, two, a 17, a two, and a one. Well, that's fortunate for you. Uh, you're going to take... Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, they get two attacks. Welcome <laughs> <laughs> back to the game. Lovely. Four, three, 12, 18. Does a 17 yes, get you? Yes, it does. Three of them hit you. Uh, and they are going to go odd or even. So three hit you. Odd, even, odd. Lucky you. Uh, so two of them rake you with claws, causing three plus one, four, and 
four, eight damage, four slashing, four cold. The other one, you need a DC 10 versus dexterity. So can I see the ones that hit me, though? Oh, yeah. Plain so can I use my uncanny dodge to half that uh, damage? I will allow okay. it. Uh, my dexterity roll. You, you can now hold on. You can uncanny dodge that damage or the damage you're about to roll. The dex check. I'll let you uncanny dodge one or the other. You can do both melee let's, attacks. Let's do the one that's about to come. Sure. Okay. Go ahead. DC 10 versus dex. Nope. <laughs> uh, but you uncanny I dodge do. it. So what's what's the Half bonus damage, on that? Right? Half damage. Ha okay. Uh, you take six hit points of damage. Plus the eight from the other melee? Correct. Plus eighteen. I'll have you know that was the first damage I took since we came back down. In a long, t in in a a long, long time. time. I didn't yeah. get hit last week at all. Good news is you aren't sweating. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> So your turn. No, this is just karma payback for all the times everybody else took damage from any and nothing <laughs> but you. And what am I fighting here? These ice creature things? Ice methods, yep. All right, let's go for ice it. Muffins? Ice muffins, yeah. Uh, ice. A dirty 20 and a 25 to hit. Easily. Yeah, two plus three and then another one plus three. Nine. Nine damage. Not bad. Uh, now, this is the important roll. Copious, roll your initiative. Uh -oh. Seven. Not good enough. Uh, I'm going to attack Felix again. Eight, two, four. I need three DC 10 versus dexterities. You can only uncanny dodge one of them. And are they are they all like right on top of him? Mm -hmm. And there's more coming. The first one was a natural twenty. Okay. The second one was a dirty twenty. Okay. The third one was a six. Okay. Is that the one you're uncanny dodging? Let me think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, six so three damage. Uh. Felix, it is your turn because oh, you shit. higher than copious. Yeah. Am I alone in this room? What the hell's going on? Well, there's three icicle men in front of you, and then down the slope, there's 12 more charging up at you. You have no idea that copious has popped in and gotten hit in the head with a chair. Oh, lovely. Okay, let's try it again. Uh, both of them hit. <sighs> Uh, nine plus nobody cares. Six. Good news. Damage. Good news. Uh, you have slaughtered one of them. Bad news. When killed, it explodes. DC ten versus Dex. <laughs> damage. <laughs> <laughs> I think I ain't going through this damn door. <laughs> Sixteen on the Dex uh, check. So you get to save for half. You take four more damage. Uh, you hear, what the holy hell, copious. The inlays on your box glow. You two are in the room staring at Robert and Leaf, pushing each other to go through the door. We're back through the door. We magically came back. Uh, then... If I am conscious enough to yell, I'm going to say, don't go through that door. A doppelganger appears yelling, don't go through that door. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to yell, ice men are on the other side or something. There's yeah, free ice cream on the other <laughs> side. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is a perfect spot to stop. Unless, Robert, you would like to throw a leaf through. No, no, he's not copious. I mean, no, I wouldn't throw any of my party through. Uh, we'll, <laughs> we'll hold here. Uh, yeah. Felix 
<laughs> covered in little red marks from the shards of icicles that he has taken uh, from killing his opponent so fiercely. Grapnel. Uh, uh, so Felix, I thought that worm made you. What worm? <laughs> I fell down and when I woke up, I was in here. And he went I, off exploring. <laughs> I, I wanted to come back to you guys. Uh, Haggis, welcome back. What'd you think? It's been a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it has. We've been filling in your backstory. You are a horrible person. I am. <laughs> but at least you didn't get painted naked. So yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. You naked? No, you. There, there's that. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I don't mind. I like. I mean, you. I'm happy you gave me the position that was thrust upon me of captain. You oh, mean the, the position you. that you were given no choice to uh, restrict? Every oh, time I mean. you entered the barrel, the whole crew thrust upon you. <laughs> There's a name for that. <laughs> we'll just say you're popular. <laughs> uh, man, what do you think? Nobody will speak bad about you on that ship. Man, Fang, what do you think? Oh, that was great. It'll work out okay That's for you? Good reaction, Man, Fang. It was great. That was great. great. I had a great time. I enjoyed it greatly. Middle Frank? Huge, huge. Uh, I, I, I enjoyed it. Those damn folder guys were nasty in that game, though. I mean, yeah. burns are flying around. No. I, I'm glad we were able to bring a little comedic comedy and enjoyment to everybody's life this Sunday. I like the fact that you took every chance you could. I was kind of hoping you'd go through the door and just start throwing uh, snowballs at people. I couldn't get through it. I was waiting to get through. Jason, what'd you think? I think I took more damage tonight from a party member than any of the monsters. I no, you didn't. I know Felix has hit you hard with those arrows. Not as hard as that chair did tonight. Twice. <laughs> Twice. Oops. I thought they were plushy and cush. Apparently, you got hit by the wood frame every time. I just want to point out that uh, Copius may not be aware of who threw the chair, but he definitely knows who burnt his masterpiece. And so his, his little bit of concern that he had about plastering that painting of Robert all over town when he gets back to port, that's totally gone now. Hey, I'm going streaking in the quad later. Nice. Uh, AJ, thanks for finally getting hit. Guess what? Uh, the roll, that D4 roll, if you would have rolled a four, the rest of that horde would have been all over you. And if you think you got hit hard, just briefly, you didn't see nothing yet. <laughs> yeah, as soon as I hit the return key for responding to the private message of what I wanted to do, I was like, that was a mistake. I shouldn't have done that. I'm like, okay. <laughs> uh, Frank Senior, what'd you think? Oh, I had a good time with it. That was fun. I'm glad that uh, didn't get involved in more combat. I was down to a couple of first level spells. And that's it. Gee, it's, it's almost like that got planned. <laughs> yeah, it kind of seemed that way. Drain yeah. that bitch. Drain that's that okay. bitch. That's I, okay. I'm sure the enemy that you totally emolliated is most likely dead and not waiting outside for you at all. With well, you know what? I'm tradition. resting up before I go out that door. Well, that sounds like a candy-ass approach. <laughs> you damn right it is. <laughs> uh, folks, thanks for watching. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive if you want to shoot shit with us on our discord go ahead and do that if you're looking for some cool rpg stuff super we got it uh don't forget if you ever want to be on a show uh albeit the talk show or a one shot m hobo inc gmail or twitter hit us up again my apologies for botching uh how this show looked but we still had a good time uh for everybody here at murder hobo inc catch us actually at eight o'clock tonight we're pulling a double header uh scott is running a first edition game and yours truly is a mage at seventh level yikes <laughs> i'm going to do some damage uh first i should probably get really drunk uh actually i stand corrected i'm ninth level so i have fifth level spells baby so uh for all of us here have a great rest of the night uh we will talk to you later but tune in at eight o'clock uh, this evening bye everybody <laughs>